Welcome back, my friends. I'm Daily Fix, and we are playing Star Trek New Horizons. Of course, as said, United, United Earth, because we are not the Federation. I know that's what the description said, but I'm I'm just too lazy to uh, to flip it. So there is um, something we need to be talking about. This this acceptance is probably not happening due to the protective status of the Vulcans. Now I'm going to give it a shot, I definitely am, because we already know that with the Andorians are be willing to go in with the uh, the coalition and the Tellarites would vote yes. So that is uh, definitely something we're going for. But for now we are going to be focusing on building up our fleet. Uh, getting away from the protective status. We definitely need to be doing that because the Kardashians, they are overwhelming and they will tear me a new one if I take too long. I also would like to colonize this. Uh, max districts, negative 50. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, what we need the most is, uh, is alloys. Our alloy production has been a joke. So that's definitely something that we want to change. Oh, I think I flipped that up a bit. So I've been having uh, a lot of issues with lag. And it was very much, very, very noticeable during the last stream. I did a clear install. I don't know what else I can do to change this. I got um, a hold of Genesis, uh, who is also part of the Discord community. Uh, and talked about the lag issues with his game. And, and his are more like a frame drop. And that is from the Stellaris main game, right? So, mine is maybe a bit, well, more horrible. I don't know. Uh, I had complete freezes. And I, I hate, I hate freezes. I really hate freezes. So, how to get rid of this protective status? Um... What kind of stuff can we trade? Let's get rid of that. Uh, we're making plus 8, so I'm okay with trading away some more. We're making 18. Uh, what's the cap on this? 5,000. Well, let it let it grow a bit more. Sell a 1,000 of this, and let's just boost our alloy production like crazy. Just to reinforce the fleet. Uh, I wonder what they will be doing, or what they will be building. Is there still... Places to go? I think so. I think so. So did the Noblians. Um, wow, the Tellarites don't like them. They are at war, so that's why we can't do anything. We have a migration trade proposal from the Freeholds, apparently. Which I would gladly take. Uh, maybe we can actually get these guys. No. No, they just don't like us. Which is a... A, a bloody shame. Truly a bloody shame. Mm, construction ships not doing um, as much. What is going on here? Let's check that out. Um, so, let's see. We've gotten a report from the science officer, Jonathan Archer. It seems that a ceramic container is circling a star. Most peculiar. It should uh, obviously not be there. So, I, I, I'd say we're, we're curious. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, the Andorians are now willing to join and we're going to be accepting them. I'm sorry. I, I know I know the Tellarites will vote yes, they will join and the Vulcans are not going to be enjoying that. We can revoke their status. But I don't want to. The thing is, they are now... Uh, they're rivaling still. And that's that is truly, truly annoying. So we'll have to find a way. At least we have two of the founding members. I don't think that the Nobelians were a founding member to begin with. Uh, but the Vulcans were. So still, this needs to change. And here you go. Allied to a rival. And this, as long as the, um, the Andorians are rivaling the Vulcans, uh, it's not happening. It is not happening. But... Uh, association and uh, status has ended. Yeah, that figures. 
Let's send you out. Coalition is ended. Coalition is ended. Oh damn. If it is real, it is important. So what we need to make sure is that they keep liking us. And I'm hoping that this dispute is um, is going away, where they no longer rival each other. It will happen over time, so no problems there. Um, let's go here. So here is the Starship Enterprise. And we're going to be saying, you know, research the project first by holding shift. Um, the Cardassians and the Trill are rivaling each other. Interesting. So this, this territory is going to be rather vast. We got the uh, Ferengi Alliance already just humping, <laughs> humping the Tellarites like crazy. So I want to make sure that we join this coalition once the Federation is formed. And we'll see what happens next. But for now, I think boosting, boosting the fleet is very, very important. Naval logistics will already have. We could possibly just go and get some orbital museums going. Oh, migration treaty has been broken with the Tellarites. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Let's see. This is all going well. These are still building up. I don't want to go too fast because I think by going too fast, um, our economy, which is already not the greatest... I think that we'll definitely have a bit of an issue as soon as the Federation is formed. Ah, but we'll see. We'll see. Look at this bo boomer independent trader. Uh, why? Why game? Why did you do that? Uh, naval logistics. And we'll go with the Orbital Museum as well. Science ship under fire. Oh no. We just lost a scientist. Damn it. Is it old age? No, no, no. The ship was destroyed. Oh, wow. I hate that. I really hate that. I don't... I still think that this is a bit too loud, though. So, uh, let's go... Something like that. Hmm. So, we need to get up to 1400. And by the looks of it, a destroyer is being made. Trouble in Paradise. Um, I don't want this. I don't need... We stand divided. This is a peaceful option, which I don't like. But the happiness is going to be on... This planet going to be down. So we might have to suppress this. It's kind of on what... The stability... The stability is still good. So we can actually get out of that quite okay. Now also, what we need to be doing... The trust growth plus 10%. Wow, that's quite nice. Planet specialization. Hmm. I think that's quite a nice option. So, what we want to be doing is... Oh, wow, look at that. Man, the trust growth has been really, really falling down like crazy. And uh, we also have that trade deal. Yeah, the only hope for this to work is that the Endorians break their rivalry. Now, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm quite sure some of you are going to be upset that I accepted the Endorians. But I think it still, it was a good decision. Like, the fleet is strong. We, we, we stand united if the Vulcans were to attack, which would be new. I never had that coming. Um... So, what, can, what else can we do here? So, we can upgrade this building. I think we should. Anything else that we need to upgrade? No. Not really. What else are we making here? So, we have the energy. And we could possibly go by boosting the mineral count as well. Perhaps even the food. I'm not sure. We got nine remaining. We're just lacking a few minerals. How about you? 20 minerals. Boosting it over here would probably be more beneficial though alloy production is more from earth yeah we, we still have a lot of work to do a lot of work to do Ships upgraded. Uh, okay ship has been upgraded to construct did i make another construction ship oh yeah i had to 
I had two construction ships. There's a 3k fleet in there. This is not very interesting. So we'll hold off on that. We'll uh, get rid of one construction ship. Ah, uh, there we go. So United Federation of Planets. Uh, United is Earth's interests. Let's get rid of you. We don't need two construction ships. We still have two free scientist training. The Andorians are voting in favor of forming the Federation. So that just tells us we are actually quite behind. So we're actually forming the Federation now. Oh, there we go. The Federation is born. That also means that we'll have to see what will happen with our economy. Uh, well, welcome to Earth. I said welcome to Earth. Available houses is greater than zero. Okay, before we do anything with that. Because his bellies are lost. Let's get rid of that. It's understood. We need housing. So let's build that up. Uh, we'll get that over there. I hope this will remain. Let's take a quick look. Because our economy is suffering probably also due to, uh, due to the stations, the star bases. So this one, why why will you have this one? It doesn't do anything. Military station. Let's take a quick look then. This is not a military station. On military station? Who the hell are you? So you're primitives. Oh, that means we can most likely start by giving them Federation membership. So let's get that under control. Um, you. Well, I don't think you are very important at the moment. So let's get rid of that. I could probably uplift these fellas as well. By offering them integration yeah like i said my economy will be suffering very early on a lot what else do we have we got a few more bases that we need to get rid of this is also one of those weird ass stations it is a stations with the vulcans which i am kind of in favor of orbital science damn that's actually quite quite a good a good thing a non-aggression pack by the trill I will hold off with the defensive pack in all honesty. We so what did it do? Union. Yeah, they are still overwhelming. Let's get rid of all of these messages because that's going to be annoying. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that right now. So one more starbase needs to go. I uh, kind of want to keep that. I don't care about all of this if that were to fall. Orbital Museum is being made. kind of feel that we need to get rid of this one. Let's downgrade you. There we go. So economy-wise, that should be a bit better. Let's take a quick look. What else can we do? So we have to go around all of the planets. Now there's going to be a lot of rulers who are not happy. Uh, stability is down. And we only have one population in here. Uh, that That is horrible. Why can't you... That is weird. So we have a ruler who is a Zindi species. But apparently there is also an insectoid who is unemployed. Why is that? Demoting to worker? Why? This is quite weird. I don't understand why. With colonist jobs. Why don't you... Probably the next tick this will be fixed. Let's see. No, it isn't. Oh, this is weird. really weird. Are you saying we don't have ruler jobs on this planet? We definitely do. We have two colonist jobs. That is the problem. He's a ruler, but he's not ruling anything. Um, let's see. This planet is semi-stable. 
So what is dragging the economy down like crazy? That is uh, something that we're going to be figuring out. We're on negative 51, which is quite a bit. Now, negative 20 is from getting those species into the Federation. So we'll have to do something about that. Administrative center. Can we, can we replace that with something that would be like more beneficial for us? Uh, you know what? Maybe with Unity. No, Unity doesn't do anything for us at the moment. We'll have to focus some of the resources to Unity for sure. So, four available jobs. Two available jobs. And we have, of course, one of the rulers who's been pissed at the moment. Uh, upkeep is negative 24. Are we lacking? No, we don't. So, this building... We don't need. Let's get rid of it. And that would... Surely, that look, that is a massive difference. Let's get you. That looks okay. We are still colonizing those. We are gathering food from over here. I think we might want to flip those uh, administrative buildings. So, city is being made. Unemployed worker. That would change. Let's see. So we have seven amenities. We have two jobs available. So this administrative building is just... It doesn't cost us. So I don't really see the need to re get rid of it. But if we don't, the next population that's going to be built is going to this, uh, to this trade value thing. Actually, that would boost the economy. Hmm... We need to think of a way to get more stations. Once we do, it's going to be quite good. We have a non-aggression pack invitation, which I will accept. Uh, that's remarkable. How is you? How are you doing? So you're friendly now. That means we can invite you into the coalition. So the Vulcans will be joining right now. And we'll have to start integrating them. So we're getting to know a lot of different new species. Um, and we'll start into ascending with the Surix on high intensity, but we need 40 energy and 40 minerals. Now the minerals not is not much of a problem. Well, let's do just do it like this. There you go. High intensity. I want to get those Vulcans in as soon as possible. But well, now we're standing actually quite strong, and they were actually. Are you moving your fleet to Bajem? Oh, we could have been in war quite early on if we didn't didn't stop that. So let's wait until the welcome to Earth message is viable. So they accepted into the, were accepted into the coalition. Once they are a member, we're going to be sucking up to the coalition up there. Uh, fleet command limit, let's take it. Because we are slowly going to push forward to the alloy production and pushing the fleet. Now we have allies, uh, don't forget that. Energy is going to be a bit of a problem. Mm. Now you are unemployed, right? No, it's a ruler as well. Damn those rulers. You are. How would you fare on this planet? So, colon, because this, this planet is not doing a lot now. Actually, we could just wait. They have a growth speed of 428, 429 actually, which is quite, quite good. Um, and let's offer you association status. And these guys are into a coalition. Now, that was accepted. So, we're still waiting for Earth to finish. Colony has been founded, finally. So, negative 27. Yeah, that, that, that we, we can deal with that. That is not too difficult. And surprisingly, the reinstallment of the game has been helping my lag issues quite a bit. So, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. So, Jonathan Archer has gained a level. Uh, anomalies. We're going to be researching. Let's take a quick look at ship design. Anything changed? Um... This armor. Wow. We can actually go with these. 
Let's see. Do we still want to use these as these kind of ships? And I've been deb debating my... Um, my builds. Like, these point defense aren't that bad. If they are backed up by something that can actually pack a punch. I did this weapon. Let's get rid of you. Let's take you on. We're still on plus 14, which I think is quite okay. We still have all of that. Uh, they did something with the power now, didn't they? Can we change this one now? Chance to evade. And this will start to research. Uh, we could actually use some biology. But... It doesn't give us anything, and that is a bit of a thing that I'm not really, really ready at doing. Evasion. Eh, it's not doing... Evasion in this kind of ship doesn't do you anything. Maybe tracking would be better. Can we change this? No, we don't. Well, anyways, guys, we'll uh, we'll we'll play with, around with that next time. For now, we've formed the Federation. We've actually managed it. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time when we are changing the title into the United Federation of Planets, and have a bit of fun with that. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.